the Yankees are looking to change things up. The reports are coming in that the Yankees have now hired a third party for a full audit of the organization. We've been getting reports really over the last two weeks. Oh, Yankees are going to hire an unnamed company to audit the front office and see everything that they're doing, see where they can improve. And then we got a second report that there was going to be a second company. And now a third report. So three separate companies are going to be looking through the Yankees front office, seeing how they can improve. Because the Yankees, they want to win. And this season was unexpected. I know a lot of people want to point out, oh, the the poor roster construction going into the season, this and that, it was obvious. But no one could have guessed that the Yankees wouldn't be in a position to make the postseason. I know technically they can, but they're not really in a position. They're not running in the run for the postseason right now. And no one could have guessed that. I think a lot of people would have guessed they're not going to win the division and they're going to lose early in the postseason, maybe get swept in the wild card again. But for this to happen, no one predicted it. And the Yankees do want to win. Owner Hal Steinbrenner wants to win. Otherwise, he wouldn't make some of the moves he does. When the Yankees signed Carlos Rodon last offseason, that was a move to help the Yankees win. They were a very good team without Carlos Rodon. They won 99 games without him. Really, all the Yankees had to do was re-sign Aaron Judge last offseason, and they could have called it a day and said, we're good enough, we'll probably make the postseason again. That's all we need to do. No need to spend more money. But the Yankees spent over $150 million on Rodon. Now, that isn't working out, but it does show that the Yankees want to win, and if they were just there to maximize profits, they wouldn't have gone out and get and gotten Rodon. They wouldn't have gone out and gotten half the players that they do because spending all that money just wouldn't make sense. They could have a pay, a payroll around 200 million or so, which is still a high payroll but below the luxury tax, and they likely would make it to the postseason every year. Maybe as a wild card team, but they likely would. And the Yankees they've always made it to the postseason. They've made it every year since 2016, and making it to the postseason matters a lot, because on the business side, winning is good. When you make it to the postseason, you get more revenue from TVs, from TV deals, sponsorships, all that kind of stuff. So making it to the postseason is a big moneymaker for the Yankees. So no wonder they're mad that the season has gone so poorly. It's not making it to the postseason when you have a roster this expensive is going to cost millions of dollars. So I think it's a, a combination of the Yankees really wanting to win the World Series just to win it and a part of the business side where you make it to the postseason, you get a lot of money. So I don't think it's one or the other. A lot of people say, oh, the Yankees only are in it to make money. That's the only thing. But as I said, they wouldn't spend any money if that was true. So I think the Yankees truly do want to get back to form next year. And that's why the Yankees have hired three outside companies to audit the front office and see where they can improve. Because there's no easy explanation for why this happened with the Yankees. You can point towards roster construction. You can point toward injuries. But why did every single player just start to do poorly? Why can no one hit, even though the Yankees have had two hitting coaches this year? That just doesn't make sense, which is why the Yankees want answers and they've hired these companies. So, I'm interested to see what's going to happen. I think some change will happen in the Yankees organization. 
I don't think we're going to see any big names fired. I think Aaron Boone's likely going to stay. Same with Brian Cashman. I don't think we're going to see the front office officials get fired, the major ones, anything like that. But I do think stuff is going to get changed up, probably on the medical staff side. But who knows what's going to happen? I'm excited to see the news and reports that come out about this audit when it happens this offseason. So subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all that. But hopefully, the Yankees are back in it in 2024 because they can be. They have a talented roster, and with a few good moves, they could be back in it for 2024 and have a shot to win a World Series. So hopefully, this audit helps the Yankees.